but he's got terrific energy and he's going to need terrific all-round skills to beat this man Lopez of Cuba. Yeah, the, the, the current world champion, a split decision in that uh, final bout. Interestingly enough though, um, the man you're talking about from France, he did lose to the boxer that went all the way through to, to take the silver medal. Uh, I mean, there's, there's some good form lines there and, and it speaks volumes of his fitness, just the number of punches that he does throw. Well, here is 21-year-old Christian Umbili. Doesn't believe that boxing is in his blood or that he's particularly talented. But what he does say is, I work more than most. You better believe it. If you've not seen him, he's all action. It's an interesting admission, isn't it? It's, uh, and, and one that, again, speaks to his heart. He knows he's got to work hard to win a fight. Well, he's one fight away from a medal. Yeah, near quarterfinals, huh? Crowds build up really nicely too throughout the day. Representing Cuba. Apresentando o pugilista do canto vermelho e representa Cuba, Arlen Lopez. Arlen Lopez, technical knockout win in his last bout against Haxa of Hungary looked very, very good. Lopez. The boxer in the blue corner, representing France. E apresentando o pugilista do canto azul e representa a França, Christian Evely. Yeah, well, Lopez only lost one one round in the, the World Championships last year and uh, the split decision in the in the final, but everything else was really comfortable for him. Round one. Arlen Lopez of Cuba in the red, Christian and Billy of France, the opponent for a place in the semi-final of the men's middleweight division. And the punch that Arlen Lopez produced against Harxer of Hungary in his last round was one of the best punches we've seen so far at these Olympics. Harxer somehow having been knocked down got to his feet but the referee in no mood to allow it to continue. I think he was actually unconscious for a split second or two on his way down. Oh, I think it was for sure. It, it was almost like the, the hitting the canvas woke him up. That the, the, It was one of those flash knockouts. It, 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 his legs would have gone, he, he wouldn't have even felt it, and, and uh, then he would have hit the canvas wondering what had happened. But uh, and Billy, the, the, the thing about him and the way he's approaching this fight is exactly as he should. He's keeping his hands up, walking straight forward, because he knows if he stays at distance, he's going to get outclassed by the Cuban. And if he tries to just box him, he's going to get outclassed. He's going to have to keep walking forward, as he's doing here, covering himself up, and then trying to unleash him close. The thing about the Cuban, is he works really well to the body as well, so it, it's an interesting matchup. Lopez, the overwhelming favourite here in red. There's that prodigious work rate already from Umbili. I thought in his last bout, the Frenchman in blue was going to run out of steam, but somehow he maintained it throughout. And look, I think the, the two of those uppercuts he's just thrown have gone straight through the middle of the gloves as well. He's just cut one back for his, his trouble. But uh, shaping is a good fight. You'll see them throw those. Then they'll go to the ribs to try and force the, the opponent to drop it, his elbow down by the ribs and then either come across with a, uh, a hook or go back up with the uppercut again. Gold medalist at last year's World Championships, Lopez of Cuba. Lopez doing his best to try and keep this at distance, but he can't. And Billy just keeps on coming. Well, for a boxer who says the, the sport is not in his blood, he'd hardly know it looking at his style. Well, I, don't think, I don't think he's going to be switching to gymnastics or synchronised swimming in a hurry. Just likes that uppercut, doesn't he, Lopez? Swinging for uppercuts left and right. Well, that's the that's the punch he needs to use because the, 
of the way his opponent's holding his hands. There's not much point in throwing anything else at his head at the moment. And uh, he's done some good work. There's the head going back there from the Frenchman. And Billy's head popped back from the weight of that uppercut. Cleaner blows landed by Lopez in that opening round. Yeah, I would have thought so. But uh, uh, as you've already suggested, though, on the, on the, the punch count, Billy's thrown more punches, but I, I, I agree with the big point of Rose and to, to, to Lopez. And there's an example of it. Head going straight back. And he gets one for his, his trouble. Yeah, that's one of those combinations that he's thrown on the hope that the hands have come down. I don't think he's even looking. He's just worked away at the ribs, hoping he'd drop them and time. come over the top. All three judges have gone for Lopez. He's not going to have to look for it in Billy. So the Cuban, Arlen Lopez in red, taking that first round against this brave, come forward, Frenchman style, Christian and Billy. And here again, Lopez trying to keep the, the fight at distance, but being unable to do so because in Billy, no matter how many times he hits him at distance, just keeps walking forward with those hands up and then trying to fight in a phone box as he is now. Good head movement though from Lopez. But remember, these are middleweights, they're big men. They can knock you out. So whatever this goes on, Billy is in the fight. This is the only way he can win the fight. And whatever he's here, he's got, he's got a chance to stop his opponent. So aggressive. And so strong. And Billy catches Lopez with another right uppercut there. Pretty good start for this round for him. As you say, Lopez would love to fight this at distance. Mind you, he's not getting on the back foot. He's quite happy to be leaden footed there and stay in range. Well, I think there's been, I think there's been a, a, a bit of gas taken from him. I know it's only midway through the, the second round, but I, I think he's realised he can't keep him off, so he's going to have to fight this way. He's being forced to fight somebody else's fight. He's doing a good job of it, too. Well, that's the way opponents of other Cuban fighters at these Olympics have gone about it, and some have had success. Just ruffle the feathers, take them out of their comfort zone. The other thing about Billy is the way he holds his hands and his elbows down, it makes it hard to get to his ribs. You know, hop on YouTube and look, look at some of Tyson's knockouts, and so many of them were the right, right rib to the rib, followed instantly by the right uppercut, and the uppercut would, would drop him, but his ribs are hard to get out, the Frenchman. It's been a good round from Billy. Here it has. Takes a couple of uppercuts from Lopez and the third. Uppercut has been the predominant punch for both fighters in this contest. Yeah. They've been head to head for most of it. Only two rounds, very nearly, that we've seen. And one of the reasons the uppercut is getting through so often is because of the way he's holding his hands and those elbows down alongside his ribs. So there is that gap there. Uh, less so for the Cuban. Another very tough round. They're both going to know they've been at a, a stoush. Well, sort that one out, judges. Yeah, I'd, I'd favour Lopez a, a, again, but from Billy, he's like Popeye. He's had his spinach today. He just does not stop. And what, maybe 15, 20 seconds at the start of that round, he, he tried to keep him a distance and couldn't. But, but there's the, uh, the the big gap and the example of the uh, the uppercuts that just kept rocking him. Nice right hook from Billy. But I'd be very surprised if this hasn't been... Uh, a round that went all ways to Lopez, which it has.
Arlen Lopez of Cuba with a good lead here over the all-action Frenchman Christian Umbili and there's an interesting statement from Lopez he hasn't even bothered to try and keep him a distance he's just walked out and led into him so that's the way we're going to fight okay that's the way we'll fight Barely been a pace between them through the entire contest. There's that famous Tyson combination we've been talking about the right rip and then the uh, right uppercut. Does leave you open for a left hook if, you, if your opponent's quick enough. Sure that Mbili's got the power to stop the Cuban here, which he's going to need to do as he trails significantly on the scorecards of the three judges at ringside that matter. I'll tell you what, they're tired, both of them. This has taken a lot out of them, this constant punching. Tiring the, stuff, isn't it? Yeah, the weight of the opponent. Well, like that it is there's but there's been no moment when you can sit at distance and and not think that you're about to get hit you can you know if, you, if you're separated you're at distance you've got a reach advantage you can bounce around and have a little breather there's been no breather here uh, you know a lot of people watching at home and think oh you know there's not, not much happening there's plenty happening here and the, and the weight of your opponent's body on you as well and the other thing that full credit to both of these men have either of them been warned for holding in the best part of three rounds? I don't think so. Referee's been anonymous. Yeah. I... Two tough men. Yeah, it's a great fight. Fighting for a guaranteed medal, bronze at the very least, in this men's middleweight quarterfinal. The advantage after the opening two rounds for Lopez of Cuba in the red. At this Frenchman never say die attitude and Billy but Lopez is heading to the semi-finals unless and Billy can find a knockout they punch themselves almost to a standstill well there's no doubt that collectively this this fight would ha would have the greatest punch count of any fight we've seen so far Closing moments. That'll be a relief for Lopez. He wants to get out of there and have a rest. Well done, Billy. You forced the champ to fight your fight. Well done. Plenty of respect from the two of them. Well, Lopez will be very happy knowing that he's won that to wave goodbye to Christian and Billy. I don't want to see you <laughs> anytime soon. <laughs> Can you pay my next opponent a visit, please? <laughs> Well, that's what you want to see in any major championship. And it doesn't get bigger than the Olympic Games. But both contestants have put their all into that. And look, a lot of other fighters would have gone to water under that onslaught from Billy. A lot of them wouldn't have been able to stand there for three rounds. It would have started to weaken and Billy could well have knocked them out. It was the only chance that he had forced Lopez to give up his reach advantage. Okay, he's been hit enough out there, hasn't he? <laughs> That's a little tap harder than Lopez <laughs> would have wished to say well done, fella. <laughs> so the outcome inevitable Ladies here. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by unanimous decision Senhoras e senhores, o vencedor por decisão unânime do canto vermelho. In the red corner. Arlen Lopez of Cuba. Arlen Lopez. Through to a guaranteed bronze medal at least in this men's middleweight division with a unanimous points win over Christian Mbili of France.